Hello. First, I want to say congratulations to both Ryan and Tom, and thank you very much for sharing your stories. It's really motivating and inspiring as a coach still here to know that you really enjoyed your time here and still hold some long-lasting friendships and great memories. Um, it's very inspiring, so thank you. But I'm especially honored to be here today to introduce our very first, very first women's soccer player ever to be inducted into the SUNY Potsdam Sports Hall of Fame. And actually, she's also my first player. I was only soccer coach for a very short time, one year in term. But I was here throughout of her four years and really enjoyed my time with Jody. So I'm claiming her as my player in the Hall of Fame, <laughs> clearly, because she did have three head coaches during her tenure here. I was the assistant coach during her sophomore year and then head coach her junior year. But I called Heather Batts, your first head coach, your freshman year, once the announcement was made, just to see what kind of story she had about Jody when recruiting her. Well, it turns out Heather was hired a week before preseason Jody's freshman year. So Jody decided on her own, I think between Plattsburgh and here, lucky us, thank you, on her own to come here. But when Heather showed up to campus, she saw the roster of incoming players, and next to Jody's name was the number 99. 99 goals she scored during her career in high school. So Heather felt like she won the lottery and felt like it might be too good to be true and was really nervous that you might not even show up to preseason. So she was very happy to see that you did. And of course, Potsdam Soccer is very lucky that she did show up because she decided, only because she decided to stay close to home and play for the Bears. At the end of her first soccer season, Jody was named the Sunyak Rookie of the Year and tied the Sunyak record for goals in a single season with 13 goals, which still remains a record today. So yes, I agree, Coach Berkman, one of the best female athletes we've ever had, if not the best. I remember Heather's first concern the, the next year, her sophomore year when I came in, that she would be facing challenging opponents and being marked out, because clearly you are our biggest threat. So Jody was not scared. She welcomed the challenge. Anyone here who knows her well, she's very feisty, doesn't like to lose, and she'll do whatever it takes to win. Um, during her four years here, she was named all Suniac team three times, and she became Potsdam's all-time leading scorer with 45 goals in her career, which is another record that she still holds today. Clearly, Jody is a very talented soccer player with the gift of finding the net. But what I remember most about Jody is her speed. I can't even say the name Jody Ziemba, and I'm sure the guys who know her, you can't even say that name without following up. She's the fastest person I know. Turns out that she's still playing soccer and still one of the fastest people on the field, so I'm really happy to hear that. And she plays in a co-ed league out in California, so she's taking it to the boys too, which is fun to hear. Um, an ironic thing about Jody's speed, though, is that she hated to run her freshman and sophomore year. Absolutely hated it. And one of Heather's first stories was that she had the team lined up to do some extra fitness, because clearly soccer is a lot of running, so weird to hear a soccer player hating to run. But you spoke up as a freshman to Coach Bats and said, why are we doing this? I never had to do this in high school. So again, knowing Jody, who likes to speak her mind, I found that story hilarious. Um, because you were blessed with speed, it just came easy to you, but you did work very hard for everything that you earned here, and I think you were blessed with some good teammates, and we had some amazing wins while you were here. Jody was so fun to watch on the field. Her first touch on the ball was so quick that her defender was immediately a step behind her in any given play. So it was actually tough as a coach. Like, I want her in every position, clearly. I want her as my defender, I want her as my scorer, um, and she did a little bit of everything, I think, while she was here. One of the, we had a few conference wins, New Paltz, Oswego that year, but Clarkson I think is the favorite game of that year, her junior year, because it went into second overtime and Jody w was the hero of the day and scored in the 110th minute, so right at the very end. It was actually a really intense game where there were goals scored and taken back because of offsides. So we were like running, the f I think we rushed the field at least twice thinking we already won the game and same with Clarkson, so it just kept going and going. It was very intense, but Jody finished it for us. And it's a great memory that we still relive any chance that we can get. I've had a very lovely morning with your family. And again, I'm really happy to hear that you're still playing. I 
suspect that you will play for as long as you can and always impress people with your speed. Now I'd like to introduce for the 2014 SUNY Potsdam Hall of Fame our first ever women's soccer player, Ms. Jody Ziemba. I'll take a hug too, as long as you're giving out these hugs. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Nice job. Um, thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Jay Z. By the way, I'm Jay Z as well. I am. I came before you. You did. You did. <laughs> Um, so thank you very much. This is truly an honor. Um, first, I just want to thank the Potsdam um, Mayor's Hall of Fame Committee for the decision to induct me in the Hall of Fame. Um, it's such a privilege to be a part of this year's inductees along with Tom and Ryan, um, and especially being the first women's soccer player to be inducted. It truly is an honor. Um, being part of the Bears soccer team has really significantly influenced my life and helped shape me who I am today. Um, I'll always cherish all the memories I had with all of um, the friends and the teammates that I made. Um, and I just want to thank everyone who has, was there supporting me and guiding me through that time. So just a couple people. I'll make this short and sweet because it's a little nerve-wracking. Uh, <laughs> a couple people I want to thank, Coach Lauren Bruce. Um, I envisioned her being there the entire time I was there, but um, just the head coach one year, but she was there for an assistant coach as well. Um, just thank her personally for the best shock, soccer shape I've ever been in. Um, I don't actually think I've ever been in better shape than when she was the head coach. Um, just one story to share. Um, we had forgot the balls to one of our away games, and um, we get back once we return. The next practice, we did about, I can't remember if it was 10 or 12, 120 sprints. So I don't know if anyone knows what those are, but you have to sprint down the length of the whole t soccer field and then jog back within 60 seconds. Um, so we had to do 12 of those, 10 or 12. Um, so let's, I'll tell you, we never did that again. <laughs> um, um, part of me now actually does miss doing those 120s. We also had regularly scheduled beep tests, um, so an, a European beep test, a European man's voice running through my head. Um, so I really, I do miss those, especially having a coach like Lauren push me positively to her, the way that she did to push me to do all this hard work and get me where I am today. Um, so outside of whipping us into great shape, um, she also taught me the coaching technique for um, to be able to excel as a collegiate athlete, um, both on and off the field. And she also taught me what it meant to be a team player and leader. And her, I say, as her, as like all the coaches as well, her and Heather and Lauren and and Lisa Petroselli was there as well. Um, I also want to thank my family, um, my mom and dad. I wouldn't be here today without you. Um, your love, encouragement, support. They were, have been on like every single sideline that I can remember from elementary through through college. And then even now when they come out to California, they're like, oh, do you have a game? Can we come watch? So um, I thank you for doing that. Um, to my brothers, they I played soccer with them all through well before I started playing soccer and, and modified. Um, they toughened me up enough to be able to play at a collegiate level with both composure and aggressiveness. That's probably where I get my aggressiveness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lastly, uh, my dad. Um, my dad was the one who taught me the fundamentals of the game and skills necessary to obtain these career and individual goals that I hold. He also taught me the meaning of hard work and dedication. So without you, dad, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be the person I am today. Um, so thank you and thank you.